Whether we wanted it or not, Destiny 2 is changing. Special ammo has decreased in both PvE and in PvP, and Pressurized Precision is the only fusion rifle that provides an answer to these changes. Not everyone is going to like how it does it, but if you somehow made it through my fusion rifle ranking video, you know that I rank this adaptive strand iron banner fusion extremely high for being the only fusion rifle in the game that rolls with the perk discord. At the time of that ranking video, I was looking ahead and just speculating on the strength of discord in the future. I felt it was already really strong, but now that running double special ammo is more taxing in PvE and checkmate grows more prevalent every day in PvP, you need to get a pressurized precision with Discord. I'll go over what perks to roll for both in a second, but let's talk about the cost. Discord requires weapon swapping, and it requires an elimination. That's really not a lot to ask in PvE if you're clearing ads with it, but in PvP I know that doesn't fit everyone's playstyle. Personally, I think for 7 seconds of auto reloads, infinite ammo, extreme accuracy, and snapshot all at once, it feels worth it. Just like hitting that subscribe button. But okay, for real, already in trials, comp, and quick play, I think it's super fun to use this infinite ammo trick, but even if you're not convinced yet, just take a minute to consider where PvP is moving. I get asked a lot, will you start covering TTK values and god rolls for checkmate? The answer is currently no, because those values are changing so frequently, but I do think we are either heading in a direction where it will be a big part of PvP, or the main Crucible sandbox will be adjusted to blend in parts of Checkmate, with most likely some special ammo adjustments. Discord blends perfectly into Checkmate, since the game mode relies on using a primary first. Sometimes you'll even get that final kill for special ammo in the middle of a round, and when you swap to use it, you'll have those 7 seconds to use that ammo at no cost to you if you land those shots. I think the skill ceiling is really high for Discord, because if you pay attention and play smart, you could pile up unheard of amounts of special ammo in a game mode that's supposed to really prevent it. Right now, cheeky things like Monarch and Devil's Ruin are running strong, but you can even use these paired with a Discord Pressurized Precision. Running double fusion through Devil's Ruin and unlimited ammo fusion rifle is crazy strong. I know Checkmate is a very divided playlist in terms of public opinion. It's bringing some players joy that they had lost in PvP, yet there are other players who feel it takes the fun out of the game. But regardless of how you feel, I highly suggest you pick up one of these Pressurized Precision God Rolls. For PvE, I'd go Charge Time Masterwork, Hammerforge, Enhanced Battery, Discord, and High Impact Reserves. Charge Time Masterwork is just free damage. As I talked about in my updated Fusion Rifle Charge Time Guide, no penalty, don't believe your impact stat. It's not real. Then I'm running Hammerforge for further damage fall off distance. I'm not as worried about handling because Discord will give me snapshot, but you can certainly go Arrowhead Break if you want to. Enhanced Battery is just some free extra ammo, but it will also help High Impact Reserves hit its full damage buff faster in the mag. Which is cool for Discord because you can actually leave your mag low as you blast through adds and get the higher buff as Discord reloads your ammo for the low mag. Vorpal and Cornered are options here as well, as I assume you'll be around a lot of ads using Discord, so Cornered is better than the usual here. Then Vorpal is a good 15% against higher tier enemies, but for the Discord infinite ammo fusion use, the damage won't apply to all enemies. That's why ultimately I just landed on high impact reserves, which is really nice because it's super close to my PvP recommendation, meaning I could probably land somewhere in the middle to just keep one pressurized precision and save vault space. For PvP, I'd also go with the Charge Time Masterwork, then Full Bore, Projection Fuse, Discord, and High Impact Reserves. Top it all off with the Targeting Adjuster mod, as Aim Assist is one of the struggles in the stats of this fusion. Just like PvE, Charge Time Masterwork is just free speed with no cost, and High Impact Reserves actually fixes the damage in PvP to 5 Bolt against any resilience level with your last 2 bursts in the mag which is the starting point in current PvP, but that could change soon. I might need to rework my charge time guide to account for starting with 3 ammo and checkmate with high impact reserves, but we'll see what they do with the game mode and how it translates to the full sandbox in the future. The high range gives lots of room for the narrow aim assist cone from Discord to work in, and I've found this fusion to be very, very deadly once you've got it all rolling. Full team wipes and checkmate that started with a simple primary kill. And even though you used your fusion rifle for the last two kills, you didn't waste any special ammo to do so. The trick to using it really is figuring out the balance of when to try to utilize Discord versus when to just use the fusion rifle. It is a great adaptive fusion rifle at base, and you don't want to get stuck in only using it for Discord. I think that's an easy trap to fall into that lessens the value of the fusion. It's versatile, and it has potential for infinite ammo, but don't 
put yourself in a corner with it. This has been Lego The Flash. Until next time, GG.